Hey guys, this is Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to show you how you can keep the GS4's lock screen effect and still have lock screen security. So, one thing that Samsung's TouchWiz adds onto the Android lock screen are unlock effects. There's like a water ripple effect, then there's also this like light flare effect. And they look really nice, especially if you have a good wallpaper to go along with it. But if you enable any sort of lock screen security, like face unlock, pin, or pattern, then you lose the effect. So I'm going to show you how you can have both at the same time. So we'll be using a, an exposed module for this. So before we begin, you'll need to have the exposed framework installed on your Galaxy S4. If you don't have the exposed framework yet, you can check out my how-to guide and video on installing it over at Galaxy S4 Soft Modder. And if you didn't know how to add the lock screen effect, just go to your settings, and then under my device, go to lock screen, and then just tap on unlock effect, and you can choose between a ripple or light. And we'll be side loading an APK file, uh, which means installing an app from outside of the Google Play Store. So. In order to do that, we'll need to have unknown sources checked. If you haven't done that already, uh, just go to your settings and under more, go to security. And under device administration, uh, let's make sure this checkbox next to unknown sources is checked. So we'll be using an exposed module by uh, XDA developer Mohammed AG. You can check out our full tutorial for the download link and it should be available at the developer's XDA thread as well. And once you finish downloading the APK file, the installer should start automatically. Or you can just tap the notification and tap install at the bottom. Once it says application installed, you can press done. And you notice an exposed notification reminding you that the module isn't activated yet. So go ahead and tap on it and it'll bring you to the modules page. Just check the box next to the module that will say uh, unlock effect before security code and reboot your phone. So once your phone has been rebooted it should be in effect. So if you already had some sort of lock screen security enabled all you have to do is swipe and as you can see you have both the lock screen effect and a secure lock screen now. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Soft Modder.